Hey, Pastor Steve here, uh, Calvary Chapel Tri-Cities. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the things that are going on over in Israel. Um, one of the one of the questions I get is uh, from people who don't know the Bible very well is, uh, what's this got to do with us? Why is Israel so important? And uh, just to tell you, Israel is important because Jesus talked about the fact that Israel was going to be um, uh, trampled under by Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles were fulfilled. And then Israel was going to come back together as a nation. You have this both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. So in the Old Testament, you can read about it in the Ezekiel chapter 38. Another thing that Jesus said that was going to take place in the last days was wars and rumors of wars. He said, and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. The nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And uh, when you're talking about the nation of Israel, um, the nation of Israel basically is front and center in uh, events that take place during the last seven years before Jesus comes back. And that's called the tribulation period. So anytime I see stuff like this happening in Israel, um, the, the attacks by Hamas and then the Israeli response, and then even more than that, the response of the Arab nations around them and some of the other nations in the arena, uh, these are things that were prophesied in the Bible. And so in the book of Ezekiel in chapter 38, gives a, a list of nations and it usually uses their family names and so we don't see them uh, as the same nations. In other words, for example, Russia is in there, but it's Russia's called Gog and Magog in that passage because again of family names. And then uh, you have Persia and you have, uh, depending on your Bible translation, uh, Kush and, and another uh, number of other nations that are involved there that all are going to be coming down against Israel in an attack. And in that attack, uh, they are destroyed by God. And this begins the tribulation period, that last seven years that I was talking about. So this is what I'm telling on you. Uh, whenever there is turmoil in Israel, whenever there are nations surrounding them that are looking to wipe them off the map, these are the things that were prophesied in the Bible and specifically the nations that are involved in the Bible are Russia and Iran and Turkey. Those are the three big names that are involved in this. And this is, this is one of the things that you see geopolitically here. Russia and Iran and Turkey are all allied uh, with each other and uh, specifically Turkey and Iran are going after Israel. So I don't know that this is the beginning, um, but Jesus said that when you see these things begin to take place, you need to look up because your redemption draws near. And what he was talking about is his coming for the church. And so we need to be ready for this. You need to have a heart that's right with the, with the Lord. If you don't know about these things, uh, we've got some uh, Bible studies on my website and you can check them out. You can go through and do the studies in Revelation. Uh, I've got some last day studies. You can check those things out too to get some more information. In any case, this is just awful. You know, uh, Hamas is a terrorist group, obviously. They're butchering children, and Israel needs our prayers, especially the prayers of Christians. Uh, I think that the response from the Christian church is anemic, and it needs to be more bold. So, we want to lift up the people of Israel. We want to lift up the situation that we've got going on in the world. And we need to lift up our eyes because Jesus could be coming back soon.